Hi, we're here at Johnny's Social Club. I'm Susan Lethbridge with Shaw TV, sitting with Crystal Colt, the amazing Crystal Colt. <laughs> and right now we are Culture Days crazy. Wow. So, Truly. so amazing. Truly. So amazing. But before we get into t- Culture Days, we do want to talk about something that's coming up the Wednesday and Thursday before Culture Days, Bollywood. It's becoming a, a really important part of Culture Days. It's just we love just kickstarting it with Bollywood, which is just this... Um, amazingly colorful, talented group of individuals in our community that g- give us a show that we've never seen here before last year. I think it's pretty No, amazing. it was really outstanding, and they've, they don't just have uh, adult dancers. They've got little kids, too, which is a wonderful part. And these are community members who mm-hmm. have spent quite a bit of time rehearsing, and, of course, Dr. Antoine is the one who puts it on, and she does an amazing job. Oh, the real deal. The real yeah, deal. The real deal. It's beautiful. And the costumes that she got, like, it's just unparalleled. Yes. Yeah, I've never seen It's just amazing. Yeah. It's truly a, mm-hmm. a very professional show, so tickets are going fast for that. That's Wednesday and Thursday, December 23rd and 20. December, September 23rd and 24th. (laughs) And so get your tickets now while you can because last year it was a sold out show and uh, and tickets are starting to go very fast. So then we get into Friday of Culture Days. Woohoo! Yeah, culture. So it starts off with a ton of school activities that Katie Anderson organizes for every kid from kindergarten to grade 12, um, from Donna Williamson's Walk in the Camino to everything in between the Superstar program. And so we know that every single kid is going to have such a wonderful time. And so we thank the Flintstone School Division and the Creighton School Division for being so open and supportive of Culture Days and, and encouraging their, their schools and their staff and their kids to be involved in it. So, mm-hmm. so I'm really excited about that. And they're, they're, the, the Flynn Fawn School Division is so helpful. I know that they're helping uh, myself and other programs by prof- providing busing. So, for example, for my Culture School for Kids, which is happening Friday morning, uh, the morning session is 9.30 to 11.30, and the afternoon session is from 1 to 3. And it's a really great program where we've got so much going on and the Flint Fawn School Division is, is kind enough to pick up the daycare kids who come, wow. which is great from Creighton and from Flint Fawn. So we sure appreciate that. Everybody just kicks in with Culture Days. Like last year, we had over 300 volunteers. Wow. It's, just, it's just amazing how everybody is just so supportive, yeah. uh, helping each other out. Ah, that's great. But what you're doing. Well, and Culture is Cool for Kids nice. is a preschool program, and it's going to be at the Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the Friday, like I say, 9.30 uh, is the first session, and 1 o'clock is the second session. We've got Mike and Betty from the Norva Center. We're making Bannock. The energy at Culture School for Kids is just so so precious, so wonderful. It, it is so fun, and I know for myself, <laughs> Faith Cron and I oh. do a, a singing percussion thing with the kids, and we bring drums and percussion, and it is so fun. And you have dancing, too, don't you? Have and we dance? have dancing this year. We're very excited about that, thanks to Joanna Doak wow. and, and Heather Hammond. Um, they're both going to be putting that on, and so we're really thrilled about that. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. So, much fun. so so bring your kids out for Culture's Cool for Kids because that's really a, a fun one to, uh, to, to, to come to. Right. And then, so that takes care of that whole from, you know, birth to, like, yes. 18. And so um, just after that, around 6 o'clock, there's going to be Act Like a Ham Sandwich. Is our, uh, for people that aren't from Flim Flon, it's our theater group that we love, and it's called the Ham sandwich theater group and so they're doing four short uh plays four 50 minute plays one of them which is uh, created by john taylor a, a local uh, artist in town here and so we're excited about that there's uh, they're, they're just crazy and fun those four short ones then uh, hopefully everybody's seen or heard about human books as one of our favorite things yes. and then after that in the evening we're keeping on going susan i know we're not stopping we still have like 48 <laughs> more hours of yes. uh, but <laughs> so uh, we have our beautiful beautiful couple in town uh, doug 
and Doug McGregor and Ann Ross, who uh, opened their whole homes to have a local roots, which is a little bit like home roots. Mm-hmm. And so they've uh, they have artists that are going to be or performing artists that are going to be performing there for from seven to nine, and uh, that's just a wonderful place to go and check out and see and support. And uh, and then after that, we come back here to Johnny's for a wooden wire. That's a new thing that's been happening in the past couple of months, which is just everybody loves. And so that will be more entertainers happening here. And just because we're just getting revved up right about 11 o'clock, um, there's going to be more entertainment happening at the Hooter. I was coming up with the name. I'm hoping it's not lame. I called it like Rock Blast. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> you know, it's been, you know, we're 82 events. We're thinking of a lot of names all the time. That's right. And so... <laughs> Rock Blast, you know, it's well, got a certain right. uh, ring See? to it. That's why yeah. you're such a good friend. So, you know, I tried, I tried, I tried. And so uh, I tried to do something with Hooter. But, yeah. And so Rock so there's going to be Culture Shock Evening with Doug and Ann's, Wood and Wire, and Rock Blast at the Hooter. Great bands happening until 2 in the morning. You sleep for a couple of hours. That's right. Then you wake up early because then you're going to get into Saturday and there's a ton more things happening then well and we have so many things to talk about we are going to divide it between days so we've talked about friday and so we will look forward to uh to also talking about saturday yes so that's we're crystal and susan with shaw tv and we'll talk to you later